Welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. The flu season is upon us, and here to talk about the flu and how to protect your health during the holiday frenzy is Susie Cohen. She's the nationally syndicated Dear Pharmacist columnist. Welcome to The Kiosk Presents, Susie. Hi, Lori. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit, what is the difference between the flu and a cold? Okay, so the flu is much more intense, it hits you fast, the fever can be higher, and it's full body, so you can have symptoms head to toe. Now with the cold, it's generally wetter and above the neck. And by wetter, I mean there's more mucus happening. Yeah. So you might see sneezing or itchy, watery eyes and coughing, things of that nature. But the, the key difference is that the cold is self-limiting, Pretty much you can blow your nose and get about your day, but the flu can be deadly for some people. There are complications, and so we really need to be vigilant about taking care of our body and recognizing the differences. So it might be kind of common sense, but remind us, what are some ways that we can prevent spreading germs? Well, the best way is to stay at home if you're sick. Unfortunately, it could be two days before you have a symptom. So you may not know that you're infected, and yet you're spreading the flu virus everywhere. So if you're within six feet of someone, you can give it to them. I would, you know, obviously sneeze into a tissue or the crook of your elbow, wash your hands frequently, and make that investment in your health all year long by taking probiotics and eating right and sleeping and avoiding bad habits and all of that. So those are just some simple ways. What are some common germ hot spots that maybe we should think twice about before we touch? <laughs> <laughs> well, where you work, uh, our children go to school, so there's other children there that are sick. Where people congregate, you know, churches and synagogues and hospitals and pharmacies and airports and the mall, that's a huge one right now with the holidays. What are some common flu myths? People think that when they get sick, that they can go to the doctor and get an antibiotic, but that's not necessarily true. I mean, an antibiotic's only gonna kill bacteria, and with the flu and with the cold, you know, those are viruses, so you, you have to think about it differently. A virus isn't going to respond to an antibiotic, but luckily as a pharmacist, I'm here to tell you that we have some excellent new choices available, and there's a cool new product called Flunata, which is natural, it's homeopathic, and it's a throat and nasal spray so it's working at the entry point where the germs enter your body that's where 90% of the bugs get into us is the throat and the nasal passages so this is very important and I like the product because it's safe and effective in children over four and adults where can uh, our viewers go to see the quote-unquote flu forecast for Western New York I would go to the cdc.gov site, and right now the flu activity is low in New York, but it's ramping up and it's gonna peak in the next few weeks and it's gonna get dramatically higher. So flu activity is expected to increase dramatically. It's gonna peak in January and die down by the end of February. Um, what are, well, actually, the holiday stress, it can be very stressful during the holidays. Can that affect your immune system and make the flu worse or make you more susceptible to the flu? Yes, it can do both. I would avoid stress as much as possible. It's hard to get around it at this time of year with all the travel and all the parties and you know relatives and everything. Just stress is just natural. It's gonna happen. And when that does, it's gonna affect our immune system. It's gonna dampen our immune system and our ability to fight infection. It basically weakens us. Now, where can our viewers go to get a little bit more information on the flu and staying healthy this year? I like flunata.com, and if you want to find me, it's dearpharmacist.com. Well, Susie Cohen, thank you so much for joining us here in Western New York and Buffalo. Uh, I wish you the best of health this year. Thanks, Lori.